You are compulsed and you are going through my 24 damn seven. I am compulsed to get at the bottom of what your motive to, for being with me is. Please tell me what you think my motive is. I'm curious. Uh, to be able to provide a comfortable spot for your daughter, to provide a comfortable lifestyle for yourself. And I don't think it would matter whether it was me or Joe Schmo or Tom Harry Dick. I, I don't think that matters to you. What's your motive? My motive to be for being with you is to build a, a long-term relationship. You are like very beautiful, which is absolutely awesome. However, that's not the only thing that's important to me. I want you to be here because you want to be here. You look at me like I'm speaking French. Because I mean, no. Why can you have a nice, sweet, clean motive for being with me, but I got to have some ulterior motive for being with you? I asked you why you were here. Because I have invested two years You invested into this. two years of sitting behind bars. I quit talking to another pen pal that I liked quite a lot to talk to you. So I could have continued that relationship and it might have grown into something that I would be happy with right now, but I'm right here with you. And I promise you, the day that I'm done will be the last time I ever with you. And that's why I want to make real damn sure of my decision to be with you or not to be with you. Because I don't go back. I still do love her. I care for her very deeply. And she thinks I'm weird for looking at and reading. Now, you can think whatever you want. It ain't creepy and it ain't weird because a notebook journal, which she had wrote while in prison, with uh, her manifesto, I guess, of what her uh, uh, intentions were. You have to explain this. Get out, get the car. Then I get him to open me a bank account. That is a quote out of a book. It really concerned me because it described pretty much our situation uh, and our relationship to a T. Here's your order of importance in your life, okay? Miley Grace, totally get it. Yourself, Carabelle, your friends, phone you're on for 12 hours a day. And then maybe, maybe if there's a little time, you'll spend it with me. You have no interest in me. You have interest in what I can do for you. But you have no interest in me as a person. The other night you said, oh yeah, I'm lonely. I'm like, yeah, me too. <laughs> I, know, I know how you feel. You're literally telling me how uninterested I am with you and have all these other interests, but I sit here and try to open up and talk to you about something, you shut me down every damn time. Yes, I'm lonely. And you're gonna sleep right there, lonely to mother night. I thought I was in love with Scott. The person I met when I was in prison was this really wonderful, awesome guy who had a few quirks. But now, I feel like Scott is a totally different person. 